In this video, we're going to take a look at a hidden scene with Conrad Werner in Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Because of a bug, this scene cannot be accessed through normal gameplay and can only be unlocked by using a save editor. Keep watching to see it all. You're alive! Oh, this is the happiest day of my life! What's up everyone? Big Dan here. Before we begin, I have a bunch of different Mass Effect trilogy guides and lore videos on my channel, so if you're interested in seeing more, hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Before I show off this scene, I'd like to give some context to this dialogue. If you already know everything about the Conrad Werner bug and the choices from the first game, you can skip to this timestamp to watch the hidden scene immediately. We first encounter Conrad Werner on the Citadel in Mass Effect 1. He's an over-eager Shepard fanboy, almost to the point of being creepy, especially if you're playing as Femshep. There are several ways you can deal with him, but if you don't tell him to get lost, then you can have three separate conversations with him throughout the course of the game. During the third and final conversation, Conrad will ask Shepard to help make him a Spectre. At the end of the conversation, there are five dialogue options, including a charm and intimidate speech check. Let's take a look at the speech checks, starting with the Paragon Charm option. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the Council what humanity is capable of. I want to be with you, fighting the good fight like you did on Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. I believe you, Conrad. But there's another fight that needs you. What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. If we choose the Intimidate option instead, then Commander Shepard sticks a gun in his face. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at a coups, but I'd never let you down. All right, let's see. I'm a bad guy. Stop me from killing you. What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? This is how a gun in your face feels. It happens to me every day. You can't handle this. I thought you were a hero. Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. The decisions you make during quests in the Mass Effect trilogy are recorded in your save file. This is how the game knows what you did in the past and cues up the correct dialogue in future games. For example, if you romance Liara in Mass Effect 1, you get a different cutscene when you meet up with her in the second game than if you weren't in a relationship with her. Due to a bug in the game's code, the Conrad Werner quest gets misflagged in your save file. Regardless of which choice you make in that final conversation in Mass Effect 1, the save file records your decision as both the Charm and Intimidate options. We can see this by importing our save file into the Trilogy Save Editor. See how both options are checked? This means when we import our save file into Mass Effect 2, the game thinks that we intimidated Conrad Werner in the first game and automatically defaults to the Renegade version of his dialogue. This is how Werner will typically be introduced in Mass Effect 2. I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. I'll be careful. Or you could kill him. You know, legally, in self-defense. I'd make a really good witness. Failing that, I'm hooking up security cameras now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh -huh. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard, is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a Spectre. Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? 
I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. However, there is actually dialogue in the game that assumes we made the Paragon choice during Citadel the Fan in Mass Effect 1. But due to the aforementioned bug in the save file, this cannot be accessed through regular gameplay, effectively hiding it from us. However, we can use the Trilogy Save Editor to unflag the Intimidate choice in Mass Effect 1, which unlocks this unintentionally unique scene. The first difference between the Renegade and Paragon options happens during the conversation with the Asari club owner outside Eternity. Hey you! Yeah, you! You! Shepard! What the hell was that for? I don't even know you. That one's for free. You'll regret the next one. Now who are you, and what's your problem? Like you don't know, your friend came into my bar, harassed my people, and tried to get the deed to the place. That crap might fly on Omega, but Ilium has laws. I've got security feeds all over my bar. If you or your group bothers my people again, I'll have you arrested so fast, you'll redshift on your way to the prison transport. Unless you've got plans to freelance as a bartender, something's not right. We should check out this bar. When we head inside the bar, we can meet up with Conrad Werner. I'm Commander Shepard's squad mate, practically second in command. You don't want to mess with me. Uh-huh. I'm gonna save the galaxy. I don't have time for your crap. Uh-huh. That's right. Anybody messing with me will answer to my good friend, Commander Shepard. Hey. If you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a Spectre. You're alive. Oh, this is the happiest day of my life. Conrad, let me make this perfectly clear. <clears throat> this is not acceptable. That shot barely grazed you, you big baby. Sorry, my father was a Krogan. It still scared me. I knew it the badass mercenary thing. People don't usually shoot me. Oh, this is the happiest day of my life. Conrad. <gasps> ha! Kick him in the quad. Sorry. My father was a Krogan. Okay, okay, I have that coming. But I'm so happy to see you alive, I don't even mind. Carrying on the work you started has been so hard, but I've tried to do what you would have wanted. Oh, this is the happiest day of my life. Conrad, why are you acting like me? Well, you were gone, right? And the galaxy still needed protecting. So I decided to finish what you started, in your honor. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How did you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. 
If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Bioware never managed to fix the bug save file, and this scene is still locked off in Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Again, the only way to access it is to use a save editor to unflag the Intimidate choice in Mass Effect 1. Probably the funniest thing about this whole situation is that Bioware incorporated it into the writing for Mass Effect 3. Since they knew all players had gotten the Renegade dialogue in Mass Effect 2, they wrote some lines where Conrad apologizes to Shepard in ME3 for lying about the commander shoving a gun in his face. Just, I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. This dialogue in Mass Effect 3 may be the reason why Bioware didn't fix the Conrad Werner bug in Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Because if you were able to unlock the Paragon dialogue in Mass Effect 2, then these lines in Mass Effect 3 would no longer make sense. Or maybe I'm overthinking it, and they just didn't bother fixing it for some other reason. In any case, it's fun to see this hidden scene in Mass Effect 2, which essentially became non-canon cut content due to a bug. So there you have it, Conrad Werner's hidden Paragon dialogue in Mass Effect 2. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go. So you just wander the galaxy righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates too. You know, for extra credits. If you have some kind of weird shrine of me, I'm gonna be very unhappy. It's just a poster with a few candles. It's very tasteful.